All right, let's go play outside now with Kent Jackson. I went out for a walk with the Susquehanna Trailers Hiking Club. It was the first trip for me, but not for the group. They've been around since 1932. As we hiked up the Nescapec Mountain at the Nescapec State Park, the temperature felt like spring, even though it was January. Some hikers tied their jackets around their waists. I shoved mine into my pack. The trail was new to me, but I didn't worry about getting lost. Uh, some of the other hikers had walked the route before, and others checked our progress on a map. When you hike with a group, you don't have to be as self-reliant. If you do get hurt, you have someone who can go for help or seek help for you. While we walked, people in the group took breaks so that anyone going at a slower pace could catch the pack. We also helped each other when crossing creeks on logs so that we wouldn't slip off into the water. One woman nevertheless got her foot wet and left the hike early with an escort back to her car. She was on her first hike with the group too, and I hope she remained upbeat and ready to try again. Walking with a group is an easy way to meet people. I just drifted into conversations while walking alongside the others. One couple whom I spoke with met on a hike with the club. Now they're married. Club members also pointed out sites that I might have missed, including a sapling rubbed by a deer and a log gnawed by beavers. The Striders invite people to join them anytime, and they post their hiking schedule on their website. Hiking with a group, however, has disadvantages. The voices and footsteps of the group carry ahead, so birds and other creatures might flee before we get to hear or see them. Sometimes, of course, you just want to walk alone and think your own thoughts. If you go solo, that takes some extra steps to avoid getting lost, carry a map and a compass, even if you have the route marked on an app on your phone or a GPS device. Sometimes the batteries fail or the phone service goes dead. I check the weather and wear a pack and, or pack clothing for rain and snow and tell someone where you're going and when you expect to get back. That way if you're late, at least they can start a search. 